Hey yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the Dark Healer playthrough. We are back here with he and not she. Uh he light healer coming soon eventually. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know, honestly. Maybe I'll just fuck around and just stay with the dark healer. The thing is with that though, is that there's so many items we're gonna miss out if I do that, but I don't know. Looking how it is right now, I just scheduling, bro. Druid shrook shuriken. Am I supposed to make that? What is that? Replace with Druid Shuriken. Right. <laughs> yeah, we'll make it. I know some mods did get updated, so we gotta look into that. Or not really look into it, but we just gotta open our eyes. I don't know. But yeah, we're gonna be fighting uh, Desert Scourge right off the rip here. Or right off rip. Hopefully, we won't rip and fucking die, but we're gonna see how it goes. Let's make us. Oh, we already have. There's a workbench right here, right? I think that's a workbench behind like all the gore. Yeah, let's make this. Boom. Hopefully, we can take this boss on. Not 100% sure on this. Uh, probably should raise the floor up by one. As in, you know, get a little bit higher. Because it is the Desert Scourge. And we can easily lose a fight here. Honestly, don't know if this is a good enough arena. But whatever, I don't care. We'll, we'll figure it out the hard way, right? So let's just start by just summoning in. Let me get rid of that start by just summoning in millions of enemies and we're missing a lot of health you know what we can do though we have this and this <laughs> these things are really good you couldn't tell wow this we don't get a lot of air with our jump it's all good i surprisingly we didn't get hit at all right there i don't have mana like at all so we gotta we gotta switch weapons we gotta switch weapons we need to get that uh quartz claymore like really badly that's the weapon we just need you know it doesn't use any mana from what I know and it heals us so it's like that's like a double combo right there but desert skirt should not be too bad early game calamity boss pre pre eye we should have no problem and we didn't really we got hit a bunch but obviously it doesn't do enough damage to kill us easily but boom bada bing what's in the bag what's in the bag what am I keeping what am I throwing away Honestly, I don't have any inventory space in my uh, storage system, so I have no idea. Just sell, sell whatever we can. Yeah, that that works. We kind of need the angler vest because there is an item that we have to go fish for. I don't know when I'm gonna do it, but there is an item that we need to fish for. That is a healer item, and uh, obviously I want to get my hands on that. So we will hold on to this. You know, put it in the trough. Put it in the trough for now, damn. We got five suspicious eyes. I don't know if we'll fight it. I don't think we're ready to fight the eye Cthulhu yet. Not just yet. We're pretty strong, but not just yet, all right? Give it a little bit. Maybe give it one more episode. Maybe I will fight it this episode. I don't know. But yeah, let's look up this uh, quartz sword real quick. Let's see if I could even craft it. Because I have no idea if I have the right amount of materials required. We can make this. Increase our our health i wish that healer obviously healer items are supposed to affect you know the multiplayer aspect but i wish it was like one or two you know, a couple there probably is a couple but you know affect the uh, radiant healer side of things there probably is honestly but yeah let's talk to my boy dantro and we're gonna go hunt down the flowering cactoid because you know i heard him talking mad shit recently and you know it's about time for those cheeks those cactus cheeks to go like this. Ready? <laughs> Flowering cactoid has been spotted. Activate thorns. It's not like a fucking robot. Uh, let's, uh, I don't know. Do something. Summon something. Let's use this leech bolt. Because how often are we going to use this? I feel like early game lifesteal items are one of the most useless items in the game. I mean, obviously, it's early game. You know, any health will matter early game. But at the same time, it's like barely any health. Oh my fucking god, calm down me talking shit earlier uh, but uh like i said heal healing items early game healing items ass honestly i hate them <laughs> they do nothing they do nothing so there's like really no point in making any you can maybe like regen would be better than healing give you an up regen i don't know something like that i just feel like early game healing, healing items are so stupid <laughs> they heal little to none so there's, there's like no point in having them seems redundant 
at a certain point. You know, whatever. I don't control what mods and mod developers want to want to do. Okay. I'm not the creative director of any mod, even though I want to be. You know? Not even like the lead director, the like creative co-director. You know, I usually have these like good terrarium ideas. They pop into my head. You want you want to hear a good idea right here? Heart reach potions should be coded to not pick up hearts if your health is at full. Like that is that not a good idea? That should be in something that's in vanilla terraria already. It isn't. That's a golden duck. I don't think we're gonna be catching that golden duck. I might die honestly before we do. Do I even have a net? That's the real question. I do have a net. Stop! Catch the duck! Catch the duck! Yes. <laughs> we caught it. That's free cash. Hey, we beat the mini boss too. Okay. But yeah, like that should be something that's coded into Terraria already. You would think it would. It was. It's not. Surprisingly, it's not. Like I don't know. I've had plenty of times where there's a bunch of hearts stacked up and I use a heart reach, but I'm at full health and I just suck in everything. It's like, well, shit, there goes all those hearts. I was just having chilling around, even when like if you weren't having them just chilling around, you know, you just had them there in general. You just sucked all of them up. <laughs> so you can't even use them. Hey, thanks for the cactoid commendation. Should I even attempt this boss? Maybe we should attempt it. You know, just see how it is. I feel like we should. Oh wait, hold up. Let's uh let's get some potions though. Let's attempt the eye. You know, we got more than enough uh room for error. We got like four or five backups, so like I think we're chilling, honestly. 20 health. Is 20 health worth? I think I feel like restoration potions would be very good on this character. Just due to the fact that you know we use a lot of mana. And obviously health, if we lose health, boom, you're restoring health with the restoration potion. So maybe we will. I, is there even a mod that adds in higher tier restoration potions or is that just too OP at some point? I don't know. I don't think there's a mod that does that. Another idea right there. Come on mod developers, let me be your creative director. You know, a lot of the ideas in the juice mod stem from something I said most of the time. And shout out to juice to making those things come true. Uh, because you know I have some good ideas that just pop out of my head randomly. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah, if I'm a creative director, a lot of those ideas can come alive. A lot of them are very good ideas. Yeah, my the best bet here to make this boss not too bad is gonna be using this mushroom, these two mushroom things, because the regen on the healing mushroom is insane. It is insane how much regen we get from that healing mushroom. So if I if I get hit and start getting low, boom, we switch out to that. We should be chilling. The Eye Cthulhu is not that bad though. And we have good 18 defense. Now I'm rocking a completely legitimate hard mode item thanks to Calamity. But that's only because I literally couldn't find any other item to put in that spot. None of them are worthwhile so I just put that shell there. It's not like it matters though because we have to get to like 50% health for it to be actually used. So we're chilling right now. Doesn't the Eye, he takes more damage in this form right? Like his defense is lower. Something like that. Oh god, we gotta heal. Heal quick! 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 I don't know what this one does. Use that one. Use this too while we're at it. <laughs> I'm using the wrong fucking attack, bro. Melee weapon proficiency. Level up. Let's go. We're doing, we doing it big out here, if I'm being honest. We're doing it big. <laughs> That's from Calamity, I think. And I have no idea when they added that in. What update? Because I haven't updated my Calamity in a long time until, you know, this series. It's cool. Seems pretty cool. What is this? Eye stock seed bag? <gasps> is it, I knew it was gonna do a stock of eyes because it said eye stock. But I don't not like not stock someone though. But yeah, there you go. I Cthulhu was slain. We're getting a lot of progress done in one episode. I know I haven't done an episode in a while. Whenever you're watching this, you're the Cthulhu. Uh but I'm back and I'm better. Just like Bryson Tiller said. So we got our hands on a bunch of demonites. So let's see if we can do anything with the demonite. We have a good 20 pieces. What is this? Oh, it was a druid one. Nice, nice. But yeah, like I said in previous episodes, I'm probably gonna miss a lot of druid stuff. If we're being honest. Ooh, can I make that? I can make that. I think. Yeah, let's check out what other healer items we can make. I don't know actually if there's any healer items right now. 
I know the main thing that we want from Demonite right now is this. Boom, the Fisher of Souls. And that's because there's like a, a type of flail item that we get from fishing. So I think that's honestly what I'm going to make. Oh, actually, fuck that. Let's make an upgrade. <laughs> Worth. Dude, we have no space already. So like I kind of have to corrupt seeds. Is this for a seed bag? It's not for a seed bag, really? Just 20 damage? It doesn't even say what damage. Doesn't Calamity add in like a rogue damage type now? Some shit like that. But yeah, we got our hands on a new seed bag. The eye stalk obviously does more damage than the crim thorn. So we're going to replace it. Bye bye, get out of here. Did I throw it away? No, okay, I did throw it in there. Boom. Seed bag has replaced it. And honestly, get rid of the nightshade one. This one is too gimmicky. How the rain works is too gimmicky. Get Leech Bolt's ass. Get rid of it. I don't even use the cross anymore. <laughs> so we're going to move this stuff up. Move the healing one up. Yeah, that's fine. Look at that. Now we got some open spaces. I don't know. Put some torches there. It doesn't matter. Alright, as you saw by that little fishing montage, uh, we have caught what we needed. I was trying to get a uh, hammerhead, but I just couldn't get one. I sat there for like 10 minutes, and I just couldn't get one. Our power's too low. I probably could have sat there longer and got one, but I don't know. I don't think it's worth it right now. But boom, we got our hands on the rotten cod. That's all that matters. What, what's the difference here? What's the difference? 14 damage. I don't think there's a difference. Uh, just do a little bit more damage. But obviously it's because I put on the full armor set. But look at this thing. Beautiful. This is going to be fun to use. Uh, heals all allies and player life by one. Swings a nasty mace that releases lingering heli, heli? healing energy on its first hit. Up to three healing energies can exist at once. Up to three healing energy. Singular. Alright, what's in there? Wow, that is a terrible fucking crate. What the hell? Ooh. We did get some selfish boots i don't know if they're better than hermes but you know i'll use them anyways what else do we get do i need these oh we got a tsunami in a bottle actually i don't think it's better but uh there you go toss those in there what do we do now what does this thing even do players defense endurance when near i don't know oh the palm cross here the palm cross palm cross i haven't really used at all kind of hard to use because look you gotta make enemies get really close uh what do we move let's put this at four probably and let's put this thing to the test we're gonna end off the episode though because i've accomplished a lot a lot more than i thought i was gonna accomplish but let's see if we can put this thing to the test real quick it's a nice combo i like that i like the dark healer being associated with purple it's a really nice looking color you know it just goes very well together anything anything to hit here we go there's a little lingering energies do i pick them up I don't remember what it said those do. <laughs> I'm assuming somebody could pick them up. Or no, maybe it just hurts things if they walk into it. But yeah, that's going to end off the episode. Uh, I'll try my best to get more episodes out. But I don't know. We got a lot of series going on. We got Starbound. We got this Terraria. We got Challenge series. The Spin the Wheel series. And then we got the Bard. I'm trying to finish up so I could do a Defender class series on stream. But yeah, I will see y'all next time buy my merch.